Uh, hi, my name is Jasper, and this is Lauren's YouTube channel, You Sunk My Battle Schmidt. Good morning, YouTube! So you may be curious why I'm just so darn close up for this YouTube video. I just had to get close up and tell you guys about the pure excitement that I have about a day like today. A day that's near and dear to all of us. At least I hope so. Today is a day that many remember in their childhood and I continue to remember even now. It's a day filled with breakfast for every meal, an outfit that's extremely comfortable that you wear throughout the day, and just a day filled with lounging and reading and watching TV and eating crap and wearing slippers all day. Yes, as you may have guessed, it's Pajama day. Yeah! Pajama day! It's pajama day! Pajama day. It's pajama day. Pajama days. Oh, I love pajamas. Pajamas. It's pajamas. Pajamas. Pajama day. Pajama day. So, yes, YouTube, it is the celebrated pajama day. My favorite day of all days, in which I get to wear these lovely fleece pajamas. I know they are horribly unattractive, but gosh darn it, they are my favorites. They're probably the most comfortable things I've, I'll ever wear. So I just, in celebration of Pajama Day, I had to share with you my favorite set of pajamas. <laughs> these pajamas have socks of every single kind on them. They even have the words to describe them. They have Argyle socks and striped socks and all sorts of craziness. So I just wanted to share that with you today and all the excitement that is Pajama Day. So here we go. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My favorite breakfast food of all time is French toast. And that is probably the one thing that I make the best in terms of breakfast food. Anyways. Since French toast is my favorite, I'm going to make it right now, so you'll have to excuse me. Okay, so I've been cooking it ever since I moved to college a long, long time ago. Oh, I miss those days. My dad taught me how to do it, and then I added my own little cake on it. I have a lot less milk. Pajama day, cooking on pajama day. Oh, that's not good. Moldy bread. Let's see. Moldy bread. It looks like someone cooked an egg on it. Pajama <laughs> day, pajama day, pajama. It is really nice outside. Sometimes, like this morning, I caught myself just awkwardly standing in front of the front door with the door open, just letting the breeze hit me in the face, which. Seems cool in like dramatic movies, but not so much when people are staring at you as they drive by. So normal people should just stick to their backyard door, which I think is what I'm going to do from now on. Lululu, cooking breakfast! Now for some strange reason, when cooking in the Schmidt household, the fire alarm tends to go off. So we'll know I'm cooking for real if the fire alarm goes off later. Just had to turn that on so you can experience that. Fire alarm. I'm sure my father would be very happy with that because he's on a business call. Whoops. Hi, Dad. Hello. Hi, Dad. I didn't realize we were filming. Yeah, it's like I'm doing a cooking show, but wow. way better. One of the best things to do on pajama day, at least for me, I love to sit wrapped up in a blanket in this couch watching anime all day long and potentially online manga on my lovely computer. I'm currently reading Skip Beat. If you don't know it, you should, just, you should do it. It's awesome. If you're not a manga fan, you're not a manga fan, I get it. I understand. It's cool. Happens to the best of us. Now, occasionally society demands that you change out of your pajamas and you have to wear something socially acceptable and extremely uncomfortable. 
something like this. So having to wear a normal outfit like this is just horrible. No, I'm just kidding. I wear this kind of thing to bed. It's quite comfortable. Leggings don't give you wedgies. <laughs> anyway, the whole reason I even have to put on this outfit is because I have to go take the dogs for a walk. So I guess this will be a good opportunity for you to meet the two dogs in my family and the cat and the ball python. So here are my pets. This is Tucker. Tucker! He likes to snort. This is Duncan. Hi, Dunky Doo. Duncan's much older and very regal. I like his little tooth that sticks out. No tooths. Tooth sticks out when he's happy. Good boy. This is my cat, Bam Bam. He always sleeps on my bed. And he's freaking adorable. I'm just gonna wake him up. Hi. Hi. You're so cute, it's crazy. Oh, there you go. Bam Bam is in fact massive. Especially when he stretches out. He's a giant cat. But he's my boy. So this is Jasper. My favorite snake of all time. He is so cute and adorable. And he's four and a half years old. Say hi Jasper. Hi cutie pie. Okay, so coming back from a really good walk with my dogs. Normally I use this time to call out to someone in particular, but right now I just feel like I want to tell everybody just how much I love them, how much I appreciate them, and how much God loves them too. No matter what you're thinking, no matter what your opinion of God is, whether you believe He's there or not, He still loves you with all His heart. He's going to love on you no matter what. And uh, He's just searching for you and just longing for that relationship. And I'm just so excited if you get to find that one day, or if you already have, just like celebrate in it. Take today to just soak it in. Be so happy that you have that relationship. So I just want to bless all of you just with lots of love and so much joy and I just pray that you all enjoy your own personal pajama days. Okay, so you guys have a great one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>